I'm Professor Tim Spiller. I'm the director of the Quantum Communications Hub. What we do is quantum communications, secure quantum communications. It's already reasonably well developed, so there are technologies that already exist. They're a bit big and, and clunky, if you like, so the objectives in our hub are to incorporate these secure communications technologies in handheld devices, so you as an individual could carry around a, a quantum transmitter that will talk to various quantum receivers. Uh, we also want to put things down on chips, so in, they could be embedded in all future computers and, and devices like that. We're also building a network in the UK to demonstrate secure fibre communication so we can actually get potential customers engaged and show them what the technology can do, what it's capable of, and, and start to run demonstration applications across the network. Uh, our demonstration involves the demo uh, application of QKD in secure quantum networks. In this case, we are transmitting a video from Alice, or sender, and received by Bob, or receiver, so what we're, we're doing here is having a demonstration which represents uh, a deployment and a field trial of quantum secure communications over a network which runs from Cambridge University to BT Labs down in Ipswich. And we're using this in order to try and move from lab-based trials to deployable commercial systems that might be used to secure the UK fibre distribution networks. And what we're really investigating here are essentially quantum physics-based solutions using quantum key distribution, which essentially sends single photons in a way that enable us to detect if someone has been listening in to uh, the distribution of the encryption keys. And we can then be very certain that these keys um, can't be duplicated by anyone who's an eavesdropper in the middle of the system. The small handheld stuff, the idea is that, that what we are after doing is, is putting a transmitter in a device, so think of it as your phone, so that in the future you could exchange uh, quantum keys with your bank or your employer or some service provider. Those keys could subsequently be used for uh, securing transactions or for letting you in through a door somewhere or for for any kind of uh, two-way interaction where, where you want a guarantee of security. Another thing that we're doing is we're trying to reduce uh, both the quantum transmitters and the quantum receivers down to chip size components that, that in principle could go in computers of the future. So if you have a, a fiber connection right to your desk or at least to your building, then you in principle can, can connect to other computers. So what we have here is two demonstrations. Uh, one is demonstrating our chip scale quantum random number generation, uh, which will be included in our um, quantum key distribution systems. And they produce um, high fidelity, um, high speed quantum random numbers um, for encryption purposes. And what we have here is a demonstration of our QKD technology, quantum key distribution technology, which enables um, secure communications across um, fiber networks um, which are 100% secure and will remain secure for the rest of time. So what we've done is we've used um, uh, standard industrial technology to shrink down uh, our optical devices to chip scale levels. So we use um, silicon chips and indium phosphide chips um, at high frequencies uh, in order to produce these components. Uh, there are existing um, quantum key distribution systems out there, but they're quite expensive, they're quite large, they're quite power hungry, and our technology in five years will drastically reduce the size, cost, uh, and barrier uh, for commercial uptake of this technology. So we're interested in working with people who manufacture these technologies so that, that, that they can be more widely deployed and in particular with the chip scale stuff we will manufacture the new chip level things but we're also interested in working with with service providers who will who will deploy this technology and offer it uh, uh, as part of their secure communications packages we're also working with with companies or institutions that are interested in putting in place standards some of our uh, hub uh, researchers and technologists are involved directly in putting in place standards so they're contributing to international standards bodies so that in the future when this technology gets pushed out uh, there are common standards that, that it, it will follow.
So if you're interested in working with us, please come and contact me directly or, or contact the Hub Business Development Manager. The contact details are all on the website. So if you just look for the Quantum Communications Hub through the National Quantum Technologies Programme, then, uh, then we're very happy to talk.